Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Dollar Tree haul. And it is so small that everything literally fit in one bag. Uh-huh. All of that great stuff that you guys are finding, I have found zero of it. Home with Casey's found some amazing items. My cousin Anna's found some amazing items. I've just seen some randos. Uh, posting things on TikTok, amazing items, none of it, N none of it, okay, none of it. So now I know how y'all feel when you tell me, I can't find any of that stuff that you're, <laughs> that you're hauling. I feel you. I, I didn't find any of the stuff, none of the good cereals, none of the good makeup, none of the none, but I will share with you what I did pick up. First and foremost, since it's already here, like, you know, a bump on a log, the elephant in the room. I'm going to share with you this. My Dollar Trees, all of them in my area, all of them have the dollar, dollar? What the hell is a dollar? Have the dollar plus section. So instead of the five quarter store, you know, you're paying 12 quarter store for a $3 item or 25. Wait. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 quarters for a $5 item. Am I right? Five times four. I have 10, 15, 20. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> it's been way too long since I was in school, ladies and gentlemen. Way too long. Anyway, at my five quarter stores, we have a section called Dollar Plus, where items are $3 or $5. Can I tell you, some of the items are a good buy, but some of them, if you would actually go across the street to Walmart, you're probably going to get the better deal. Now on these giant signs, I think $5 is a great price to pay for them. And I found this one that has the gray and white buffalo plaid gingham print that says home sweet home in cursive. And I hope it actually says home sweet home because so many of you all when I haul signs, tell me it's misspelled, it's wrote wrong, it's got the something upside down. So I think this one is okay. Home sweet home. And this one was $5 and I was looking to see if it had 48 inches by five and a half inches. $5 right there. Okay, now for some of you who do not have dollar plus sections in your dollar tree do you know the muffin man the muffin man the muffin man um do you have a family dollar store in your area because if you have a family dollar store in your area you might want to check them out because you might be able to find items that are in the dollar plus sections at my dollar tree at your family dollar um several people have been able to find dollar plus items at Family Dollar. Why? Because Family Dollar isn't toted as a dollar store. Everything's a dollar the way Dollar Tree used to be. Okay. And now it's not a five quarter store the way Dollar Tree is now. Um, so check out your Family Dollars. Remember Dollar Tree bought out Family Dollar. They were trying to buy out Dollar General. Dollar General refused to sell. And so they ended up buying Family Dollar. And that's why you're seeing stores two, two, two mints and one popping up here and there where it's one size Dollar Tree, one size Family Dollar or Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, whichever. And they're combined because they own Family Dollar. I, I know my cheeks are doing something crazy. I think it's because I'm starting to get a little warm even though the air is going full blast. We are at like 95 or 96 degrees, but it feels like 106 the last I checked. So, um... Let me see now what it says. I don't know if you even care what the weather is, but let me just tell you. 96 feels like 106 and we have 16 mile an hour winds. So there you have it. Um, it is a hot ass day down here where I live, but that's nothing new. It's always hot. Now, let me share with you what I found. From Shore Living, I found the Starfish Wreath Form. Is that what it's called? Yes, the wreath form. Wouldn't that be so cute done up with the nautical ribbon? Right? 
with the blue and the white that I picked up for my friend. So I didn't see any more of the blue and white nautical rope. So hopefully the two that I sent her was enough for her to wrap this. I don't know, but I picked that up for her as well. Then they had two new signs from the shore living, the nautical theme going on. There's this first one that says, life is better at the beach. And it's got that faux, almost like a blue wash shiplap background to it. And then this one goes with it as well. This one doesn't look as realistic as far as the shiplap goes. But this one says, they say home is where the heart is. For me, it's by the sea. And the... 3D part of it is the starfish on this one and the coral on this one. They're 3D pieces that have been glued on. Now these are the real thin like um, cardboard pressed wood. I don't know. They're really, really thin though. They're not as good quality as some of the other signs that we've picked up or that I picked up from the shore living. Okay, then let me share with you one else I found I was super excited about. They had the glass stickers from the shore from the shore living line the first one is the seahorses with the coral and then the little tiny fishes down here and these are the glass stickers but do you have to put them on glass not necessarily you don't but the thing is it will hold up on the glass this next one says meet me by the sea meet me by the sun kind of vibe Meet me by the sea. Meet me at our spot. It's meet me at our spot. I haven't heard it in a while because right now they're on a kick of another song. So this one says, wonder by the sea, wonder by the sea, should you ever want to find me with the mermaid? Wonder by the sea, should you ever want to find me? And then the last one has a sand dollar and it just says, it's a sure thing. It's a sure thing. So I only found four different variations of the glass stickers. Maybe there's more out there. Maybe you find more at your store. I don't know. I also was lucky enough to find the flexible stencils. The first one has a conch shell, one of the like fan shells, and then the seahorse. That looks like that. Next up is the mermaid, the coral, the starfish, and the, like, snail kind of shell. A snail shell. It's a whale of a deal. Then there's this one that says, meet me by the sea with the starfish. Meet me by the sea. And the last one, from sea to shining sea with all the different shells. From sea to shining sea. So there's that one. Then I picked up a totally different set of Shore Living stickers a while back. Then I saw my cousin Anna hauling some stickers that were totally different from what I picked up. Well, those stickers that she found, I found. Um, they're pop-up stickers. It does not say the number that you get. On the first set, it has the mason jar, the fishing rod, the mug that says Lake Life, the little canoe, the... What's it called? The paddle for the canoe. Looks like that. Next up, we've got the sunglasses, the little handbag, the glass of like libations, the little flip-flops. That's a really pretty flower right there. Next up, we've just got the popsicle, lemon, palm frond, a coconut drink, um, the little pua shell bracelets that everybody loves over in Hawaii. When you go to Hawaii, you have to get one. Or if you're close to where I live by South Padre Island, during spring break, we, we all pick up these pua shell bracelets to wear. And then the last one, which this one is my favorite personally. It's got the, um... That thing that saves you. I don't know what it's called. The mason jar, the anchor, life is better at the lake, and I love this bag. Like, if they sold this bag somewhere, I would totally pick it up. Like a beach bag. So there is that set. 
And then I think that's it in the way of the lake shore, I mean the, what's it called? Shore living. Oh no, let me show you. I'm not sure why this is in the shore living other than there are a lot of things that you have to like DIY and paint yourself. Um, which you've seen me haul in previous dollar or five quarter store videos. They brought out these brush sets. This first one is a two piece and it's got like black bristles. And then there's a three piece set that has like um, gold bristles. And this one says 10, six, and I can't see what the number is on the third one. Oh, 10, six, and two. Uh, let me show you the three piece set. So this first one is a two, the middle is a six and the a 10. See how this one's at an angle, then there's this one, and then there's this one. So you get that three piece set and see what I mean? It's a shore living. So there's that one and then there's this one. This one might have numbers on it too. It does, no it doesn't. It says master stroke wash and then the small one says master stroke Oh, it does have numbers. I just saw it. I thought that was a little design from the sea. <laughs> this one says three fourth and the other one has a four and they both say master stroke. That's what he said. Master stroke round and the other one says master stroke wash. So the one that's three fourth, this one that says three fourth says wash. And this one that is got the number four on it right there. Four says round. And this is what the brushes look like. So these were not over in the arts and craftsy section. These were literally hanging with the stickers and the signs and all of that. They were all over on their own area of where they have all the shore living stuff. And they had a ton of other stuff from the shore living line, but I didn't pick it up. I, I feel like I've picked up enough for for my friends so I didn't buy any of the other stuff that they had out but they had a ton of other shore living items now we're gonna go into the arts and crafts of it all I debated about picking up a second one then I was like what do I need a second one for I only have one granddaughter right now just one right now god bless her little soul um so I don't need to get two Right, I thought to myself, and then I was like, should I have gotten two just in case, like an air and a spare kind of thing? Um, but no, I just went ahead and picked up one of each of these. These are the macrame kits, and the first one that I picked up was the rainbow one. Taste the rainbow. The macrame set, right there. So stinking cute, I cannot wait to make this. I cannot wait to make this. And the other one I got, and if I like it and I don't get a headache from trying to like concentrate on it, I'll go get another one and make, make another one for me to have in my office. Then I have this one that's the mini macrame wall, de wall decor kit. And this reminds me of something literally that my mom had, but in full size, like huge, huge. Whenever, um, like I was little in the seventies, remember when macrame was all like the rage, like there was macrame owls, macrame like this, but bigger, there was macrame, uh, plant holders. Like that was the thing back in the seventies, maybe even further back, maybe in, from the sixties, but definitely I remember my mom having them in the seventies, like 72, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 80, 81, 82. And then after about 1982, I don't remember seeing anything macrame anymore, but it's, making its way downtown it's making its way back around so i was super excited to find these two kits i don't know if there's other kits out there my store only had these two and i was ecstatic to find them so there's that next up i saw this and i thought this is so stinking cute i bet you there's other things that go with it but at my store they only had this one it's this little notepad with this cute little basset hound or this hound dog wearing glasses and like a bow on its hair, not hair, but on its head. But look inside at the paper. It's so pretty. It's lined paper with like these flowers. The same, kind of like the same flower that's right here that's on her little dress is like inside. So I'm sure this is from Crown Jewels, woman owned store, woman owned company. Um, women owned so support um 
so stinking cute, but it's one of the ones that are sealed up here, you know, so it's this way. Um, I'm sure if they had this one, there has to be others that go with it. I did not find them at my store, but I was excited to find this one. Then they have brought these out since I've been shopping at Dollar Tree for 2015 is when I started shopping at Dollar Tree like religiously. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Has it been that long? Well, anyway, in the eight years that I have been shopping at Dollar Tree, the, they have brought these out. This is the third time bringing these out. Sometimes the theme has changed by just a little bit. You know, they tweak it just a little bit so that it is something new. So that, of course, you'll be excited to pick it up. But they have brought them out three different times. These are the stationary sets that come in these little plastic reusable envelopes. And honestly, five quarters or $1.25 for just the little plastic envelopes are cute. Like if you don't want the stationary that's in them. Because you can recycle these again and again. You can send this out in friend mail. You can put it, you know, attached to a pocket letter. So these are stationary sets. And basically what you get is you get two note cards. You get um, four letters, the uh, like letter sheets or the stationary sheets, and then you get six envelopes, okay? And the in the green one, you get this. You get the flowers, two of the note cards, you get six of your papers that look like this, and you get six envelopes in, in total. Sorry, four papers. Four papers, two note cards, and six envelopes in total. And this is like that fluorescent green color. In this like hot pink, but it leans towards orange kind of, you get two of the note cards with the rainbow, you get four sheets of paper, and then you get the six envelopes down here. And you can see right there, the best color is rainbow. Taste. Next up, I think this is either the first or the second time that they're doing the black that I know of. The first time I don't remember them bringing out the black, but this one has uh, a saying on the note cards that say shine on right here. So it's got like the bulbs. So the, the note cards are black. It's got light bulbs and it says shine on in black. Then you get your four pieces of paper and then you get your six envelopes in this yellow color. And you can see right there where it says shine on right there, shine on. So there's that. And it's snap closure from the back. It's just the snap closure. And they're sturdy. The snaps are sturdy. They should, they should last. And then the last one is this really cute, like teal blue color. And it's got the two pineapple cards with the hibiscus at the bottom. No. What are these called? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me that I don't know what that is? Or is it a hibiscus? Maybe it is hibiscus. Pineapple, the four pineapple. Then look, your stationery, they actually added pineapple to it. Whereas on the other ones, it's real plain. It's just got the design front, top and bottom. This one actually has the pineapple. And then you get that Carolina blue uh, set of envelopes that are six included. That's what the pineapple looks like that's on the pieces of paper. So there's that. And then I had to borrow a pen the last time that I was at the store. So I had already paid and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love the way that pen writes. And I said, I'll get it on the next one. And I want to say her little fuzzy part of it was like a pink that she was using. I couldn't find any pink. I found this lime green one. But if you see these up by the register or in the cutesy department, I was trying to see if I had any paper laying around. These things write were amazing. Let me show you. Let me write a little something on my stationary kit. Hold on. I was quite impressed. I always pass these up because I thought since they were like the cutesy pens, they probably didn't write very well. Look at this. Look at how smooth it writes. I love you all. XO from Texas. 
love the way this writes. I might go back and get more of those, maybe do a giveaway with it or something. I really, really am impressed with how smooth that pen writes. I mean, it's like smooth gliding. And now the last item that I picked up. Now me personally, I need to knock on wood. I am blessed with all 10 of my toenails. All 10 of my toenails are intact, I'm blessed. I know some people have a hard time, like they'll lose their nails, probably because of the high heels and stuff that they wear. I'm not a high heel girl. I have not been able to wear heels since I was probably 16, for reasons I'm not gonna disclose, not due to health or anything, but um, I'm tall, I'm very tall. And so with heels, I'm even taller. And so it wasn't a good look. Um, and then I just got out of the habit of even wearing heels. Um, if I ever would wear heels in these last, God knows however many years since it's been since I was 16, I would do like the kitten heels. Now with my neuropathy on my right foot being so bad that my right foot is completely numb. I mean completely numb. I can't even wear a sandal that has like a little bit of a wedge to it. Because since I have no feeling, I just slip out of the shoe, like the cute sandals, um, unfortunately. So, they're, you know, now my money gets spent on Crocs and Ugg boots because I don't need heels. I don't need any cutesy sandals. But I thought these were so stinking cute. And some people, like I said, do need them or even just for fun's sake, just to put them on to wear to the beach for the day or whatever. And if one falls off and, you know so be it they have fashion toenails so you don't have to go pay you know a hundred dollars for them to put you a paint you a toenail on at the nail shop you can do it yourself at home and these have little palm trees on them they're like a tropical design so stinking cute now they had tons of colors tons of designs like tons i just picked up the one because again i don't need them my girls don't need them um so Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to tell you a story. Hopefully she doesn't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, Wildfire. My Wildfire, she had a pair of Betsy Johnson heels that she wore for a either a family wedding or a family uh, quinceanera. And she was dancing in them all night. And she ended up losing her big toe toenail from how bruised her toenail got from wearing the shoes. See? I know you lose toe you lose toenails because of tight shoes or because of just the the way they're designed I guess I forgot about that hopefully she doesn't get mad at me for sharing that story it was a long time ago but yeah so for a while she had to be like with open toe shoes to let it breathe and heal and all that after the toenail fell off and stuff it grew back it's fine now but uh, you know if you for whatever reason need them don't go spend a lot of money elsewhere. Check out your local Dollar Trees or the Five Quarter Store. And I mean, there they are for five quarters, $1.25. And they're from this brand called B Color. And that is not a Dollar Tree brand. It's from the Four Star Group. So I'm assuming this is probably a buyout from Walmart maybe. Or maybe Four Star is now owned by Dollar Tree. I don't know. You know, I'm best friends with the CEO, but he doesn't tell me everything that goes on. You know, he only tells me some things that go on. Kid, I kid, I kid. Anyway, that is it for my Dollar Tree buys. I told you, very small, but I still wanted to share with you all. Let me know what your favorite item was. I know it wasn't very big, so it's kind of hard to pick, right? Right. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything other than Scentsy right now to share with you guys because I have not been out shopping I know right <gasps> again I don't go out every day to go shopping and a lot has been going on behind the scenes where I have not been able to go um I've had I told you guys my AC unit went out right it didn't completely go out they put a band-aid on it when they put the band-aid on it I said I'm not doing band-aids anymore I'm replacing so they replaced the inside and outside unit we were at a three and a half ton. I went with a four ton. So there's that. Then we've had 80 mile an hour typhoon winds. So I also am having to deal with roof issues. Um, then 
we got rain after the roofing issues and therefore I had like rain damage to one of the rooms and so we had to pull the carpet and we're just so there's a lot going on behind the scenes as to why I have not been able to get out and go shopping other than stuff that's being delivered to me which is my Scentsy or my online hauls or whatever or on online buys shall I say so um I don't have much to share hopefully next week I'll be able to get out and go shopping so that I can share what I pick up with you all. But as far as my Dollar Tree goes, I mean, I was there recently and there wasn't much to be had. I, I've already told y'all that at the beginning of this video. So anyway, with that being said, I will come back with some content for you all. So make sure that you come back and check out what I do post. Um, speaking of that... There is a bell next to the button that says subscribe if you're not already a family member. If you hit that bell, you'll get notified as to when I upload a video so you don't miss out on any of the fun. If you're not already a part of the family, we would love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Also, could you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up? It lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. It also helps me to get uh, referred or suggested out so new friends and family can discover the channel. So I would truly appreciate it if you could hit that thumbs up. Also, sharing is caring. If you want to share with share my videos on your social media or with friends and family, feel free to do so because I'd love to have them come over and visit the channel as well. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this video. So for now, goodbye from Texas and thank you.